Rowan, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing another UK versus US book cover comparison. The only problem with me filming in this chair is whenever I'm sitting down in this chair, Charlie immediately thinks that it's cuddle time and wants to sit in my lap, which doesn't seem like a problem. It just makes filming a little bit hard. So I have done a UK versus US book cover comparison video a few times in the past. I love doing cover comparison videos, so I've done quite a few different ones. I do like cover changes and UK versus US. I think those are really the only ones that I do, but I also want to do worldwide in the future. I just haven't quite gotten there yet. So it's actually been a while since I've done one of these videos, so I have quite a few covers to compare today, and I'm super excited to talk about all of them. What I did this time that's a little bit different than what I usually do is I went to amazon.co.uk and looked at the books so I could see if they're actually available. Now I'm sure a lot of times in the UK when you go to get a book it probably looks the same as the US edition, like it's not always the UK edition. I just think it's really fun to compare different covers. You guys always disagree with my opinions on it and you get very passionate about it so I'm sorry if we disagree, but it's not that I think the other one's ugly. It's it's just not my taste. Like, I just have different tastes. It's fine. But this is judging purely on the cover. I am judging books by their covers. There is nothing about the inside for any of these. Let's just get into it. Okay, so I definitely have more that I will be able to cover in this video here. Like, I have a lot, okay? So I'm going to start with The Black Flamingo by Dean Adda. So this one actually originally was released in the UK and then a year later it came out in Canada and the US, so North America, I could have just said that, that would have been easier, but anyways. I think both of these covers are really lovely. I like them both. I think that they pretty much get across the same message, but I do prefer the UK cover. Now, the Black Flamingo US edition does have a design under the dust jacket, which is fun. It is pink and has flamingos all over it. That's really cool. However, I feel like with the UK edition, I'm going to keep looking at my phone because I'm looking at the cover here, obviously, but it has that gold, which is really pretty. And also the UK edition actually has some illustrations on the inside, which is a lot of fun, but it has like flamingos all over the place. And I really like that. So... I don't know, there's something about it that I prefer the UK edition. Next is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. So this is kind of just like a simplified version, I feel like, of the US edition. I'm just googling it to make sure because for some reason I can't remember what this one looks like. Yeah, okay, so I definitely prefer the US edition for this one. I think it stands out to me a little bit more. I like how there's the planes too because that's a big part of the story. They both have, oh it's actually comparing them right there for me. Lovely. So they both are pretty similar but I kind of like how there's a different background for each sister too on the US edition and it's not just like yellow and then pink it's actually like you can see it kind of it imitates the setting that each of them live in because one of them lives in New York and then the other one lives in the Dominican Republic so I feel like it's kind of more conveyed like the different worlds that they are existing in but you still get the same message where they're sisters like I like the half face thing going on so there is a little plain in the font in the UK edition it's not that I don't like the UK edition I think they're both really beautiful they're just kind of different interpretations of the same concept and I just like the US edition a little bit more. Next is Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifugo. So I actually don't have a copy of this book yet, which I'm really sad about, but these covers are completely different. So I definitely wanted to talk about this one. At first glance, I was kind of bored by the UK edition, to be honest. I really like the US edition. I'm not a huge fan of the font entirely, to be honest, but it is kind of like growing on me the more I look at it. I think it is a really beautiful cover, but the UK edition, the more I look at it, like every time I look at it, I just see the lions and then I see that there's a girl's face in it, which is really cool. I would say though, overall, I do prefer the US edition a little bit. I think it's just the colors and everything and 
I guess, like, while I'm not a huge fan of the font, I like it more than the font on the other cover because the other cover is just kind of this boring, like, serif font. There's not really anything going on in it. And I would prefer for it to be a bit more exciting. However, I think the design of it is really interesting because, like, the lions making the hair and everything, super, super cool. They're kind of tied because I like them both in different ways, but I just think it's so interesting how they went for, like, a completely different interpretation for these like they are not the same at all but they're both very interesting next is Cinderella is dead by Kaylin Bayron so I had seen the UK cover and I thought it was just a paperback cover for the US edition but I think that so I've actually read this book so I think that the UK edition kind of gets the description of what the character looks like and like what she's wearing specifically a little bit better kind of like the thing that I was thinking of is she had ribbons in her hair so I feel like having the little butterflies in her hair kind of conveys that now this is kind of another situation where they're kind of tied because these are pretty similar I feel like the illustration is pretty similar as far as the colors go, so with it being Cinderella, I think the UK edition captures that a bit more because blue is very prevalent in it and it definitely makes me think of Cinderella. However, I do really love the purple personally on the US edition and I think that the forest, like it conveys the setting a bit more than just having this blue background. So honestly, I think these are completely tied. I can't really pick one. I think they are both really well illustrated. They are beautiful. Like I'm obsessed with both of these covers, but I like them both for different reasons too. So I feel like I'm gonna cheat and I can't pick one. <laughs> Next is another one where the covers are very drastically different. So The Court of Miracles by Kester Grant. I really wish that I could see this UK cover in person because I feel like it would just like shine and glow and do its thing. It would be lovely. Oh, I'm actually looking at Goodreads and there's like a blue sprayed edges version of it with like stuff under the dust jacket. Oh, that is lovely. So this book is described as a mix between Les Mis and The Jungle Book, which is fascinating. I'm really excited to read it. I haven't gotten the chance to read it yet, but I do think that part of me prefers the US cover. I generally, I'm going to say, I generally prefer the US covers because I feel like they're a little bit more exciting and the UK covers are a little bit more simplistic and just my personal taste, I like more going on because it captures my attention. So I think that you get from both of these you get the Les Mis sort of thing. I think with the US edition you get a bit more of the Jungle Book because there's like the like leaves growing over the stuff. The font is pretty similar actually. Like at first glance it looks pretty much the same. I don't like dislike the UK cover. I think it's also really lovely and like I said I wish that I could see it in person because I think it would be really nice. I just think I like the US edition just teeny bit more. Next is another book where they are almost entirely different. So that is Anna Kay by Jenny Lee. This is a book that I've really wanted to read but haven't gotten the chance to get to yet. So it is an Anna, Anna Karenina retelling. That was really hard for me to say. I feel like this one I might be able to better judge having read the book because I don't know how much the UK cover really like conveys the essence of what the book is or what it's about. I mean, Anna Kay, the US edition, it, it's interesting because it says Anna Kay, a love story, and then the UK edition just says young, rich, crazy, in love. I feel like that one's going an interesting route. I mean, the US cover doesn't really tell me what's going on at all. Like, I have no clue. It's just a girl who's smiling and the title is the main topic. I do really like the font for the title though, but I think I'm actually going to go with the US, the UK edition rather, sorry. Like I said, I like when there's a little bit more going on, so I find this cover to be very striking and it's not that I, once again, dislike the US cover. It's just, I think if I were to not really know that much about it and pick between the two, I would kind of gravitate more to toward the UK one just because there's some more going on. Next up is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. So this tells you how long it's been since I've done a UK versus US uh, cover video because this book came out so long ago. Like it's been two years now, almost longer. 
is that how long it's been since I've done this video? I don't even know. But anyways, Brandon Sanderson always gets very lovely UK covers. And this one is super hard because I like both of these, even though they are quite different. Honestly, I love the purple on the US edition. Like normally with his books, like Mistborn, for sure, hands down, I would go with the UK edition. But this one, they're both very nice. Like I love the purple and I like the striking image. I think it's really pretty. But I do also like that you don't have an illustration of the main character's face on the UK edition and it kind of gives you more of the setting and more of the main topic of the story which is that it's this planet that's constantly under attack and you get that from this image. So I am actually going to go with the UK edition once again. I think that it does capture the story a little bit more rather than just having a girl's face. You get more of the space element and what the actual planet is like, which is a major part of the story and the fact that it's about flight. Wow, there's a hair like literally just right on my nose. Next up is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Once again, this tells you how long it's been since I've done one of these videos because I'm shocked I haven't done this comparison before but this actually we're on a streak here I'm gonna go with the UK edition they are pretty similar they have the same image but I feel like I think I get where they were going with the US edition I think maybe they were trying to make it look like a record or like a CD cover I just love the colors and the font that they used on the UK edition it is so so pretty like I've seen it with sprayed edges too and it is gorgeous but I think the colors just give the vibe of like the 60s 70s and that font also definitely gives me that vibe it's definitely a more exciting font than the US edition which I don't dislike like I like the colors scheme of that one. I just, I prefer the color scheme of the more rainbow. I think it's so lovely and the title definitely is front and center for that one. Next is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I'm not sure if I've ever done this one before or if this cover, like I've never seen this cover before, but I, I'm i not a huge fan of the US cover for this book to be honest, but I really don't like the UK one. I don't like either of them, but this I just I don't understand what the thought process was like the white with the weird blue shining I don't know it's just weird it's like a I I, I don't know I'm just not thrilled with it and like I said really not that thrilled with either the hardcover or the paperback of the US edition either. I thought that there was an edition that looked like, there definitely was. I think the hardcover looked like what the US paperback looks like, but then they came out with this and that was a choice. Next is Enchanté by Gita Trelise. So I feel like you get the same, once again, you get the same message for these, but in a different way. I like both of these a lot. I like the kind of color blocking-ness that it looks like a flag on the US edition, but I also like it's like a gate, like it looks almost whimsical and fun. And this is kind of another one where I feel like if I had read the book, I might be able to judge them a little bit more. I might change my opinion. I wish that the title was a little bit more prevalent on the UK edition. It's very prevalent on the US edition. I I think these are tied though. I think they're both very pretty in their own way. The UK edition though, there are quite a few covers that are kind of like that. Like Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton also has a cover that's kind of similar to that. And I'll move on to the next one now because it is also a similar co cover kind of. And that's The Light Between Worlds by Laura E. Weymouth. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's like kind of a cover like the Hazelwood. I don't know how to describe it. It just gives me the same sort of vibe. But I think that the cover for this one in the US is beautiful. I love it. I love the color for it as well. I actually have it right beside me. It's just a nice like, I don't know. I've never seen a cover that's that color before. And this one just kind of bores me. It's just flowers. Like there's not much to tell you what's going on. I guess you kind of get the fact that there's two worlds because there's different flowers on one side than the other, but I think other than that it's very nondescript. Not that the US edition is super descript, but you at least have like that woodland creature. I just, I don't know. I'm gonna go with the US edition. I honestly have a ton more that I could talk about, but I'm going to leave it off with, I'll do two more. So I will go with Library of the Unwritten by A.J. Hackwith. This is very interesting because I think that these 
are different interpretations again. So the US edition is super ominous. You definitely get the fact that it has to do with books and kind of that escaping element. Like it's really kind of spooky. But with the UK edition, you definitely get that it is a hell li like a hell library, <laughs> but it's a library in hell and that the devil has to do with it and that sort of thing. So you get the darkness of it, but in different ways. I really like both of these ones. Again, I think if I had to pick, I actually, I don't know, it's really hard for me to pick for this one. I think I might just aesthetically go with the US edition. I like both of them. I think that they're super interesting. Like I like the fire on the UK edition. I think that's an interesting addition to it. And the uh, devil's like tail sort of thing that's coming off of the R and unwritten. That's really cool. But I just think there's something so ominous about that U US edition that, I don't know, I prefer that one just a teeny bit more. Last one, there are a ton more, so I will definitely do another one of these videos soon in the new year for you guys, but I don't know if I've actually made this comparison before. I may have, but I'm just gonna do it again. So it is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon, which you guys know I read recently. So these are kind of similar and I know I've said that a lot. I feel like I'm a broken record, but there's only so many ways I can describe covers and compare them, okay? So the US edition has a bit more going on because it has the map in the background. You have that same image of like the motorcycle that the shadow is making a wolf, which is so cool. I love that. It's very intelligent. There is actually kind of, is that a map in the background? I need to zoom in. I don't think it's actually a map or it's like a very faint map that's in the background of the US edition or the UK edition rather. The US edition however has like you can tell that that's a map and it also has a quote on it that the UK edition doesn't. So what if the Nazis won the war? So it definitely has a hook there. I like the contrast of the colors although I do really like the red. The font is very different. I think that the font for the UK edition gives me more of like a spooky wolf story like I don't know like who's afraid of the big bad wolf vibe I don't know if that really makes any sense I do like that overall I do like the US edition more just the contrast there but they are very very similar and I do enjoy both of them in their own way. So that's going to be all for this edition of UK versus US covers. I hope you guys liked it. I really enjoy doing these videos and comparing covers. I just think it's interesting to see how like different countries or different regions of the world market to their audience and how they will change covers accordingly. I love looking at different covers for different books. I'm like, I don't know, I like aesthetically pleasing things. I like looking at things. So I love book covers and I just like to talk about them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that my opinions didn't annoy you too much, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!